and then the neighbor said, son, you got the wrong address. Let's round the bases like Roger Maris. Take that hovercraft. Dude, Barton Fink is genius. I was like, what the fuck? This is brilliant. No one brothers do it right, man. Yeah, buddy. So, um, last night, man, we didn't even really, uh, we didn't talk about it. Uh, what'd you think? I'm fine. You know, fine. Everybody was really comfortable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, they were open really, really quick and receptive. And I'm gonna go through this whole fucking story. I don't care. Receptive. I think receptive is the right word. Oh, you, you got a titch, titch weird at certain points, but I think, you know, I think maybe we just had to get used to that. I wasn't like, where's the splooge, you know? Like, I wasn't like, hmm, where did it land? Hey, the good news is everybody wants to do it again, so that's great. And everybody's got their demons. Two girls, one cup was my jam for the longest time. What? Amen. Amen to that. So, uh, what else is going on with you? I'm uh, just trying to find a job on Craigslist. Word, good policy. Dude, you know what you should do? You should check out the uh, panty swatter section while you get a chance. <laughs> Not in your life, dude. But hey, I think I found the perfect job for you. Listen to this. Male escorts needed. Tall, classic, good-looking men needed to see to our clients' needs. $3,500 per Whoa. week. $3,500? Holy yeah. shit. <laughs> hey, uh, look. Listen, man, I got, a, I got an audition at 3.30, and I was wondering if you have any interest in taking my ass to the Warner's lot, he said. Are you fucking kidding me? Come on, man, I'm supposed to be a successful lawyer. I can't show up sweating in a suit because I just rode my bike into the valley. Plus, this is that office that has that hot assistant. Okay, 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 okay. All right, but I do want to point out that you didn't just so much ask me as you did corner me, and I know you're working on that. Um, also, <laughs> I, I'm, pretty much, I'm pretty much going. Uh, just because I could line up some nice grade A tail, and that's a good option for me. So. Hell yeah, man. When I book this, we're going to the Chateau for dinner. You know, a little steak and cigar action on this guy. My man. Uh, hey, did you set up that email list for group? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll do that. I'll do that. And, and I will send you a test email. So you are such a sweetheart. All right, man. Pick me up at 245, okay? Call me when you're up front. Yes, massa. All right, I'll see you then, dude. Peace, Holmes. I doubt. My name is Max and I specifically have a problem with hoarding things, um, mainly paper. My name is Lance and I was raised in a hippie commune. My psychologists that I've seen in the past have called it hoarding, but I'm very, very organized about it. So I don't really even see it as an issue, but the apartment that I live in, they're going to evict me because they say I have too, many, too much stuff. I've realized that you all wear clothes. Uh, I do not, but I uh, understand the importance of, of wearing them in this society. I think I bought, like, it wasn't even crazy, like I bought like 2,500 copies of the newspaper and I stacked them around, I stacked them around my apartment. The building inspector came in to inspect it for the fire code and when they, it couldn't open the door because I, I have a back entrance. I enjoy my body, I like my skin. I like the hair on my skin, I like my belly button, and I like my nipples. And I feel bad um, for people who don't have my body. Now, I can't give somebody else my body because, well, I need it. And I just feel bad that they can't be as schleppy. As, uh, as I've sort of been gifted with. Just like people, okay? Just like people, I'm different from Elvis, I'm different from you, you know, we're all different. Paper's different too. I prefer white paper because it's clean. You can have white paper in lots of different forms. You could have a cardboard sort of white paper, you could have a flimsy um, computer paper, which is actually the closest thing to perfection in paper. I really enjoy collecting novelty-sized bananas. These all have different personalities. I don't like crumpled paper. It has to be clean and it has to be um, very pressed. It's important that it's pressed because I like to see it stack. I really like um, superheroes. I like um, comic books and fantastical 
people that fix bad things. So, you know, I don't know if you guys in your society have like a group of people or organi organized, you know, groups of people that like stop bad things from happening. I just think it'd be really cool. Call me crazy, but you know, there's a lot of terrible things in the world and I want to stop it. I call it paper keeper because paper does have its own life and I am not, I'm not like an owner of the paper. The paper is, has its own entity. Certain animal rights people, they say they're not owning the dog. I don't own this paper. I'm the keeper of the paper, but you can't trust it with the rest of the world because people get paper dirty, they waste it. I'm afraid of vaginas, but I'm heterosexual and, uh, and lonely. The adversity that I have faced for making myself larger, making myself the keeper of paper, is pretty, pretty large. I'm here to not let the adversity weigh me down. Mm -hmm. So to the paper haters, you're not going to weigh me down. I'm going to stay light, like, like white paper, you know. You, you know, we start to take on the forms of what we have relationships with. Because those people, as you're terming paper haters, are just people that need to open themselves to love.